In problem number 40 of section 2.7, we're given two functions which are periodic and have periods of h and k. We're asked to show that their product, uh, the product of these two functions is hk periodic. Uh, remember, for something to be, you know, say, h periodic, it means that uh, we have f as our h periodic function. It means that x plus h is equal to f of x. All right, so we know that uh, f and g have periods h and k. Uh, so let's look and see what happens um, happens when we look at f of g. Uh, we want to show that this is h h k periodic. So we want to look at k plus h k. Now if this is indeed h k h k periodic. This whole thing should equal. Um, f, fg of x. So let's expand on the definition of fg. So this just means that we evaluate at f. So f of x plus hk uh, plus, or excuse me, times g of x plus hk. Now we can uh, rewrite this by. Okay, so we know that uh, a, the f is h periodic. So the um, every time we add h uh, to the argument of f, we just get right back to to x. So if we say you know, f of x plus h plus h k times. And similarly with g, take x plus, now g is k periodic, so every time we add k, we're not, we're not changing anything to the, original, uh, to the original argument. So we have x plus k plus k plus, I'm doing this h times. Now, notice that even though the definition of periodic just requires you know, uh, f of x is equal to f of x plus h, if we, add, if we take you know, f of x plus h plus h, uh, well, that will just reduce down to um, f of x, because every time we add, uh, add h, we just get back to where we started from. So f of x plus h plus h, you know, k times, uh, will just be equal to f of x. And similarly, g of x plus k plus k uh, h times will be uh, g of x, which is precisely uh, f g of x. So you can see that we started out just by uh, taking what we assumed to be true, what we were trying to show, the f of g of x plus h k and just worked out using the definition of periodic and ended up with the result that we wanted, fg of x. Um, no, no, this doesn't mean that uh, fg has period hk. Um, it just says that it's hk periodic. For example, say if f had period 3 and g had period 6, then you know, the period of fg would not be 18 because every 6, um, G would repeat, but uh, F would also repeat every threes and also every six. So the period in that case would actually just be six.